Okay, hello part three. Let's go ahead and dive in here. We're gonna add in YouTube data and GitHub data here. So let's do GitHub first because that is gonna require the URL fetch app again. Um, so let's do fetch from GitHub. And it doesn't take any parameters. Uh, let's define a URL. Um, And the URL is simply HTTP, whoops, HTTPS, GitHub dot, no, it's API, I believe. Dot com slash users slash Ray JT. Um, now we could kind of abstract that out into um, a key, but let's not worry about that. Um, then we got to get the response, which is pretty simple. URL fetch app fetch URL perfect, and then we're going to return json.parse response.get content text. So almost identical to the uh, fetch from Stack Overflow except we're just using a different URL. Um, okay, now the last one we're gonna do uh, function fetch from YouTube. And we actually have to do this one a little bit differently because we can actually use an advanced service that we can just activate right here in Google Apps Script and not have to use um, any sort of outside services. So if I open up that advanced services uh, mod, uh, modal, um, all we can do is just turn it on, click OK, and we are done. It used to be a whole process of actually going into the, uh, the cloud platform project and uh, adding APIs, but now they've streamlined the whole process um, every script project is automatically assigned to a project in the cloud platform. And so here now you can just um, see if you actually open this, um, really you don't have to, to do anything. It's managing it for you, um, automatically managing it for you. So, okay, so we just uh, grab that list of channels, channel statistics that is, and um, my YouTube, Username is Mad Rappin. That's from so long ago. I created that in 2006. I don't know uh, why it's still the same because now I'm just Jordan Ray, uh, but it held over that, uh, that username for some reason. So we've got three functions here, fetch from GitHub, fetch from YouTube, and fetch from Stack Overflow. Just like I did with Stack Overflow, I can add these in, GitHub is fetch, from GitHub and YouTube is fetch from YouTube. And we wanna pass that stuff along just like we did Stack Overflow, GitHub and YouTube. Now that data is gonna flow into our application but it's not in the schema anywhere. So in our schema, we want to add that, add those fields um, so that they can get passed along down to the format data. So what we want to pass along are a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and add that stuff now. Okay, so now that I've added those in video count, subscriber count, GitHub followers and repos as a bunch of other numbers, you know, just some developer information about myself. It's going to now reach out and grab those from the API. But we've got to make another change down here in format data because they have to actually uh, display somehow. So here we're grabbing 
this item from Stack Overflow. Um, I'm going to console log uh, the response dot YouTube and response dot uh, GitHub. And let's just see what those things look like. Now we've got to go back, edit connection. Hopefully everything is still working. Oh, there we go, some new fields. If we hit apply, now we've got a ton of stuff here. And I also just realized we're gonna remove display name from this. Maybe we'll just leave display name as the, I don't know. We'll take a look, make sure everything is connected properly. And if we go to our stack driver, we should be able to see exactly what we're looking for here. We've got some GitHub data and GitHub data, GitHub data, and YouTube data. Um, easy. So let's go ahead and add that into the way we format it because we want to look at the video count subscriber count, view count, all those things. We want that to show down here in the format data. So let's just delete that. So we've got video count. I'm not using that uh, camel case anymore. I'm using, yeah, view count. And there we go. GitHub followers, GitHub public repos. That can't be right public repos, what did I call them up here? Remember this case has to match up with how you define it as a field. Um, this should be public repos, GitHub followers, and GitHub public repos, yeah, perfect. That is just what we're looking for. Let's see if we now, Okay, didn't throw any errors. Can we get a video count? Hundred and nine. Can we get GitHub followers? And look what comes from stack reputation. Perfect. Um, that'll do it for this part. In the next part, we are going to actually put this data into a data studio. I am not a designer. Data studio is super user friendly and the drag and drop capabilities. Um, so you will probably have much better results from creating the data studio uh, than I am. However, we're still going to do it. So see you in the next part.